What's up guys, Briar Rabbit here, and today I wanted to share my thoughts on the Vengeance Map Pack released today for the Xbox 360. It's out, we're playing it, let's talk about it. As I'm sure you already know, the Vengeance DLC was released today, and I am really excited about it. It is pretty fun, so the gameplay you're seeing here is on the map Rush. Rush is pretty fun. Uh, it's really a small map. Well, it's not that small, actually. It's really a close quarters map, and it requires you to use shotguns or SMGs. You can use an assault rifle or a sniper rifle, but you got to be really careful not to get into close range engagement, it's, which is going to be difficult on this map, but it is fun. It is fast paced, exciting. There are tons of flank routes. There's going to be a ton of room for tactical play in here. I am really excited about it. it is, I, I'm really impressed by this map. It, I think, Is it my favorite? I don't know. I mean, I, I really like a few of them, actually. But I am having an absolute blast on this map. So the next one that we saw was uh, Detour. And Detour, I didn't know what this was going to be when they, when they started showing pictures of it. But what it ends up being, it, what I thought it was going to be was something like Hijack. So... It's not that at all. What it is is a much bigger map than Hijacked. There are, it's a fairly straight map, but there are just a ton of flanking routes. And it, it looks like it's gonna be really fun for objective play. Team Deathmatch doesn't seem to work too much because the enemy spawns flip too often. The spawns flip so often that you never know kind of where the, the enemies are coming from. Uh, so that makes it challenging for Team Deathmatch. It might get easier as we learn these maps. You know, you gotta learn the spawn points and you gotta learn you know where you're you're expecting to hit engagement so right now you know it's a lot of people running around not exactly knowing what's gonna happen around every corner but that's pretty exciting you know I, I like it the next map I want to talk about was Cove and I am NOT a fan of Cove I don't know what it is about this map it's big it, it is definitely a long-range weapon map and there are tons of flanks it's uh, very open uh, very little cover and wh wherever you are, there always seems to be three or four different directions that people can be shooting you from. So you got to be really careful. I think this is going to be a decent uh, domination game. It's not good for Team Deathmatch. So, and that's what I normally play. So, uh, you know, again, this is early thoughts on these maps. So my, my thoughts might change a little bit as I get more play time, as I learn the maps a little bit more. But Cove, I am not digging not one little bit. So the last one I want to talk about is Uplink, and this was a remake map from uh, Black Ops 1, and it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It is a remake of Summit, and Summit was a good map on Black Ops 1. It was a lot of people's favorite map. Uh, it, it was kind of middle of the road for me, but it's nice to see it back. Uh, again, I've talked about this a little bit before, but I think I, at this point I prefer to see all new maps. I'd like to see four new maps. Uh, we've had a couple of redos already with Black Ops 2 DLC, and the it's getting a little bit old. And I played a ton of Summit in Black Ops 1, and again, it's like you know it's cool to see a fresh skin on it, but it's no firing range to me. Uh, firing range was my favorite map from Black Ops 1, so getting that back was kind of that that was the peak, right? Nuketown was never really my favorite. It it came up in every playlist in Black Ops 1, and I kind of got bored with it during Black Ops 1. To see it come back for Black Ops 2 not didn't make me too happy. And now, just like Black Ops 1, you see it come up every time. Uplink is a little different. You know, it wasn't that popular map in Black Ops 1, so it's it's still, I guess, a little bit fresher. Um, but, you know, it, it does. It basically plays the same as it did in Black Ops 1. So you already know your routes. You already know kind of your sight lines and where to chuck those grenades. Um, while the gun balancing is a lot different in Black Ops 2, I don't think it'll take us long to kind of adjust for the new guns and kind of get get into old habits again with um, with Uplink. Overall, though, I'm pretty happy with the four new maps. Uh, again, like I said, Rush is... I'm just having a ton of fun on Rush. It is just so fast action. In every corner you look around, there seems to be one or two guys... I think uh, extended mags are going to come up huge on this map. Just being able to spray down two or three dudes, uh, it always seems like you run into a group at the same time. I like that, though. I like the fast action maps. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think over time I'll probably get to know Cove a little bit better, and I do generally like to play with assault rifles. 
Um, lately I've been trying to level up the Scorpion, so I've been playing almost exclusively with that, and that's not the map designer's fault. That's just me trying to level up a gun. And trying to work a Scorpion on, uh, <laughs> on Cove is not a good idea. It just doesn't, it doesn't work for you too well. So that, that's pretty much all my thoughts. Again, I'm pretty happy with this map pack. Cove is, eh, Detour I'm really digging. I think it's going to take a ton of time to learn all the flanks on Detour and learn kind of where all the skirmishes happen. Rush I think is the same way. It's going to take a lot of time to kind of learn it, but I think it's going to be really rewarding to learn because I think you're going to see some really mega gameplays on that map. Uh, and Uplink, it's a redo of Summit, so we've seen it before. That's going to wrap this video up. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys like that video, hit the like button. It really helps me out. It helps get the videos more exposure, and that really helps the channel out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I really uh, I try and make a new video at least five times a week. Sometimes I hit that seven-day-a-week mark, but mm, mostly five days a week. If you're new to the channel, or I'm sorry, <laughs> up on the screen right now are a couple videos you might have missed. I actually did a vlog on the left-hand side. If you click that video, it'll bring you up to that vlog. Had a good time making this. I don't think it's going to be a regular kind of thing, but it was fun, kind of one-off video. And on the right-hand side, a video I did about will your gaming headset work on the new consoles. Uh, it's kind of mixed results with that one, and uh, some news about which console you might be interested in if you have a $300 headset and you want to keep using it. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.